What's up champs? So today we're gonna to go over some head movement drills that is gonna make it much harder for your opponent to hit you. Stay tuned. So head movement is the single most important skill you can develop for defense as a boxer. When you just walk with your hands, you still cop a little bit of the damage. Um, and punches can still go through your guard. So when you block here, when I'm here and I'm blocking and your opponent is punching, Sometimes you just go for my guys, especially if I don't have boxing gloves because they're really bulky and um, they really help me protect my head. So what's better than just getting just a bit out of the way and just moving away from the punches? Okay, so the first head movement technique is a slip. So what it basically is, is um, you just slightly move out of the way, you put 70% of your body weight on your back leg and you move away from the punch. You don't want to overdo it because then it will take you a longer amount of time to move back to your normal stance. So you just slightly move out of the way. And if you want to do it against the cross, um, you would put 70% of your body weight on your front leg and you just slightly move away from the punch. When you sleep, always keep your, your hands up just in case something comes. So, Okay, so let's see how it looks with punches. So, I just slightly move out of the way. I don't want to overdo it. Just slightly out of the way. And you can keep it just slightly out of the way. <laughs> Roll counters. Okay, so the second technique is the pull. So what it is basically is, you just move backwards from the punch. Um, you gotta be really careful with it, because you gotta be able to measure your opponent's distance, because you might just move, move away back and back. Um, so, you get punch, you just move back. Even if you do get hit, most knockouts happen when you move into the punch. If, even if I do get hit, as long as I move back, um, I'm rolling with the punch, so it's not going to do a lot of damage. Okay, so the third technique is the hook. Um, it's usually used against circular punches, but you can still use it against straight punches. So, it's basically just like a slip, but then you continue in a circular motion and come out of the other side. Um, so, one, you slightly squat, 70% of your weight is on your left leg and you slowly gradually move your body weight to 70% to the right and come out of the other side. So slowly, one, two. You want to make sure your back is straight. You don't want to make the mistake of looking down when you do it um, because you're more susceptible to knees. You don't see what's coming from your opponent. You're going to make sure your back is straight and your hand, your eyes are looking at your opponent. So, slip and come on the other side. Slip, come on the other side. Okay, so how do you put it all together? So it's basically just like punching. You need to oh, you load up your back leg. So you put something with your back leg, now your palm is, is loaded. You just put it with your body weight. Same thing applies to, to head movement. So when I slip, my back leg is loaded, I transfer my weight to the other to the other leg and I pull and I just play with my body weight. And you always want to be moving your head when you throw punches as well. You don't want to just use this as a def defensive technique because when you throw punches your opponent isn't just going to stand there and let you finish the, the combo. So as you throw he's going to throw as well. So try to always finish your combination with with that movement. So one, two, weave. One, pull. One, two, slip, slip, uppercut. So you always want to move your head. <laughs> this is going to reduce your chances of being hit by a huge margin. A stationary target is just way easier to, to hit. As long as you're moving, you're safe. You stand in the, in the same spot, you're vulnerable.
Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please like. If you want to see more videos like this, subscribe and become a part of the channel.